What's up, guys? This is Pedro from My Stuttering Life, where you will hear the good, the bad, the very ugly. We're going to laugh. We're going to cry. But through it all, just know that you are not alone. So let's get started. This is episode number 77. And my special guest is Juan Pablo Garcia. Juan Pablo is from Paraguay and is 22 years old. He is studying to become a computer scientist while also working a full-time job as a software developer. Juan Pablo states, I've stuttered for as long as I can remember, and I've had some times where I thought I could not even have a job because of my inability to properly communicate. I'm currently training every day with a community of st stutterers in order to lift ourselves up and practice and improve our speech. I've already made a ton of progress in my career and my speech, and I intend to make a lot more progress. I am honored to have him as a guest with me on the My Stuttering Life podcast. Welcome, Juan Pablo Garcia. What's up, Pedro? I'm honored. Thank you, sir. This is a huge honor. We have a lot of topics to go over so let's get started yes nice okay so do you remember when you first began to stutter yes uh, i actually uh, have a ton of have a lot of uh, uh of of memories at five, six years old, that I used to hit my my leg in order to let words uh, come out. I I actually re remember having a a, a ton a ton of of a ton of a ton of problems at an early age at five six years old i i i had a ton of problem speaking does it run in your family do you have other family members who stutter yes my brother actually had a had a I mean, he he had a a speech in in impediment that 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 he could not speak on the phone. He could not speak on the phone like never. He 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 always had a ton a ton of a ton of blocks all the time and and I would say that that uh, that he is the The only relative that I have that has a speech in 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 pediment. Did you ever attend speech therapy? And if you did, was it helpful? Yes, I did, and and it was. Helpful at the time, but it was um, never uh, helpful in the long run, you know. Um, um, only at the time where I entered or when I left, I I had. And no um I had 
no uh, issues with my with my speech but uh, um, uh, a week after I I had the same issues all over again um growing up um i also had speech therapy um all through school and then you know um after high school i joined the military and so you know i had more speech therapy and then i also did some um hypnosis and then in college oh wow oh yeah i mean ooh, i've okay Juan Pablo, I've had like 20 years of speech therapy. And so what you are hearing is 20 years of really hard work. <laughs> nice, nice. This yeah. is hard work. I mean, woo. I mean. Yes. It's exhausting but, work. Exhausting. Oh, Very Juan exhausting. Pablo. Who <laughs> do you know who you're talking to? <laughs> I, I completely agree because, you know, all day long. For me, you know, having the blocks and and being tense, you know, all day long, when I got home, I was just drained. I didn't want to talk to nobody. I didn't want to. Same, same. same ooh, thing. I, I mean, I didn't want to hang out with nobody. I wanted to just sit on the couch in complete s s silence until the next day. Same, same, Ooh. same here. It's oh, man. very exhausting. <laughs> it is. <laughs> now let's talk about high school. You know, school is stressful for a uh, for a lot of people. But you know, if you have a stutter, you know, it's a little bit more st stressful. How did you handle high school with having a stutter? Yeah, it's very stressful and even more if you have a a speech impediment. Um actually my high school days I I honestly I I I cannot um i cannot complain about it i had a ton of friends i had a ton of good friends that never mentioned my 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 ah my speech i had a ton of of um of of people that um liked me and I liked them um all the all the t teachers um liked me and 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 uh wanted to help me all the time and and so obviously i had a ton of of uh of uh of uh difficulties in class um presentations and stuff but besides that 
I had a great experience in my high school. See, and that is awesome that you have that, you know, during your high school days, you had a group of friends who who just didn't care that you have it. They liked you for you. I mean, so that is just awesome. Did you join groups in in high school, like you know, football or you know, um, you know, drama or you know, or whatnot to kind of help you break out of your um, well, your you know, sh- your sh- your shell. Yes, yes, yes. I. I am a very competitive guy, so I I always uh, I always um, wanted to 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 play uh, soccer wanted to to have as many experiences as possible where I could be around people and talk or or have or have interactions with them and and so yes i i actually joined a joined the the music club i i was the i was the singer for the club wow that is awesome Now, um, people have always told me, don't talk about it to me. I want you to to sing it to me. Have have uh, people ever (laughs) have they ever asked you to not talk to them, but to you know sing to them (laughs) all the time, Pedro, all the time. If I had a dollar. For every time. <laughs> oh my I god, would... we're twins. <laughs> we're twins, Juan Pablo. Yeah. Oh I mean, my that's Ooh. just all the time at my high school. All the time. <laughs> oh my gosh, yeah. It brings back memories. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So do you have any advice for parents and teachers with regards to children who stutter yes yes um um when i was a like like um like six years old i had a lot of trouble and and my parents and teachers had no patience they they just um uh, thought that i was messing around and and uh, not um and not um behaving correctly and i was like yelled at and and uh and and uh and and i don't want to say treated badly because i i was always loved by them but they had like no no 
clue about about my speech uh, issue, you know? And so they just thought I was messing around. So I would advise them to just be patient. If a kid is has a speech issue, he wants... To be able to to speak as much as you want him to be able to to speak, so be patient and 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 uh, don't be condescending. Just because he has a speech issue, you know, like he's just a normal kid that wants to be able to speak and and he and he will it's it's just that he. He will take a longer time than the rest of them. It's just that. Be patient. See, and that is great advice because like what you were talking about, um, when I was in school, you know, and granted, you know, I'm a little older than you, Juan Pablo. Uh, (laughs) I grew up in the night. 1970s. I mean, that's woo, many, 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 many moons ago. And so, like what you were talking about, they didn't know that much about speech impediments, you know, s- stuttering and whatnot. And so, thankfully, my my parents just put me in speech th- therapy because you know that was what was recommended, you know, during that um, time, because, I mean, you know, no one really had a clue. And, and, and so um, you hit it right, right on the head. When you were talking about, they thought I was joking. No, 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 no. I mean, because, you know, my stutter began after a, a uh, dog attack when I was five years old. And so um, because of that, you know, sh- um, sh- shock and um, trauma, that's when my, uh, you know, that's when I began to stutter. And so um, that's when I st- stuttered out in speech therapy. So, yeah. Let's change gears a little bit. Job-wise, had you ever experienced discrimination because of your stutter? Um, um, honestly, I I have not. I mean, I'm. I mean, I am a a a computer scientist. I mean, I mean. Not yet, <laughs> but I like I um I work as a as a as a um as a web developer, so I. I I don't have to talk a lot and so everyone that I've worked with knew that I had a speech issue because either I told them 
or they could tell. And so, and so, uh, every day when I'm working, honestly, I, I don't really interact that much with other people and and that must be why I I have not experienced in this discrimination in the job. First of all, I just have to say congratulations on that field. I mean, that is just awesome. I love computers. Thank you. I mean, I mean, pe people call me nerdy, techie, and for me, you know, that's a compliment. That's a compliment, yeah, for sure. <laughs> I love me some technology. I love all the lights and the buttons, but you know. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> that's just me. And then you you brought up a amazing point where you would disclose your stutter. Yeah, because yeah. For me, you know, I can't hide it. I mean, you know, there are <laughs> right. <laughs> the, I mean, with a with a physical, you know, a disability, you can see it. But with speech, I mean, you're gonna hear it. You 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 are gonna hear it. So, how did you handle job interviews? Because I mean, they are just stressful for everybody, but for us. You know, oh, it's way worse. <laughs> it's like super hard. So, super how did hard. you <laughs> how did you handle job interviews? Um, um, I had, I had, um, so far, I had two job interviews. the The last one was was the one where I had a lot of a lot of issues um, um, communicating but the first one I just I don't know what happened I spoke like perfectly you know <laughs> it's just one of <laughs> yes, those yes I've been there <laughs> days <laughs> but the last one was uh, it was hard but the interviewer said to me that it was not a a a a a an issue at all so so it was nice it, it was, it was, uh, it was, uh, re, re, uh, re, hi, re, Refreshing. See, and that is awesome because, I mean, I've had a lot, I mean, a lot of job interviews. And I cannot tell you how many times where I just crash and burn. I mean, one time I hyperventilated and the, and the, the, um, the, the woman doing the job interview gave me a bag to breathe in. And there, there was a time where um, I stopped breathing. Oh wow! Um, I almost passed out because I had a severe block. And there was a time where, where you know, um, I was trying to get out my name, and then in the process, um, 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 I was passing a kidney stone, oh, and wow. so they rushed me to, to the hospital. <laughs> they didn't hire me, but th thankfully they took me to the hospital. So. 
<laughs> so I've had a lot of interesting job interviews. And later in life, what I had learned is, um, my, you know, the um, my last job interview, I just went in. Hi, good morning. I'm Pedro Pena. I have a speech impediment. And so if I get hung up on a word, just give me four hours and the word will come out. When they laughed, I knew I, I got the job, right? Right. <laughs> I mean, that's what I knew that, you know, thankfully they all had a great s sense of humor. And so, you know, right after I told them, I mean, it, I mean, every, every word just, you know, flowed out. And when I did have a block, I would stop and breathe and just go on. And so, um, you know, thankfully, you know, I, I, um, I got the job. And so, you know, I've been there for 13 years, so it's all good now. Let's talk about um, everyday situations. How do you handle the telephone? Oof, I hate the telephone. I... <laughs> you better preach, Juan Pablo. You better <laughs> preach. <laughs> um, 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 all the time, I have to give a... 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 call to my university and I I don't know why I I I have so much trouble speaking on on the telephone when I am talking um to to someone at my university um other days when i make a call uh, to the bank or or to order delivery I, 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 honestly, I, I don't have that much issues, but, uh, every time I, I talk to someone to my university, it just, I mean, I mean, I just have a lot of, a lot of, a lot of, a lot of issues when, when I'm trying to talk to them. Well, let me tell you about my experience with the phone, Juan Pablo. So every time I would hear the phone ring, I would, my body would have a physical reaction. My heart would pound so fast. My ch 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 chest would tighten up and I began to sweat every time I heard the phone ring. I mean, it was Pavlonian because didn't even matter where I was. I mean, wherever I would hear a telephone ring, I would have a huge reaction. Um, um, and so I was, you know, um, would um, tell myself that I am going to have to learn how to use this thing. Because, you know, job wise, you know, or talking to anybody, I am going to have to learn how to use this, you know, contraption. And so what I did is I bought a phone off of eBay, you know, regular dummy um, office telephone. So every day I practice, 
you know, um, back in high school, I was on the drama team. So, so, you know, I would just picture in my head that I was, you know, I'm acting out a part. And so I would, um, have a, um, I would create in my head, you know, this whole, um, um, scenario. And so I would go bring, and then I would pick up the phone, you know, and just talk. Then I would practice, you know, pushing the buttons and making phone calls. This is what I did every day for months, for months and months and months until it became boring. Once it became boring, when it came time to actually pick up the telephone or to dial, it became automatic. I would pick up the phone and dial and just talk because, you know, previously I had practice every single day for months and months and months, you know, and so I think I, I retrained my brain. Um, and so that way, when the phone would ring, my heart, it did not skip a beat. You know, m my ch chest was not tight. When I would hear the phone ring, I would just pick it up. Hey, good morning. Hi, how are you? It's Pedro. How may I help you? And That's so, amazing. But I mean, it took work, Juan Pablo. I mean, practice, practice, practice. You know, and what, uh, you know, people tell me is practice makes perfect. I said, no, 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 no. Practice does not make perfect. Practice makes permanent. And that's a huge right. distinction. It's a habit almost. Right, right. I, I mean, subconsciously, you know, I guess I just retrained my brain that way, I'm every time the phone would ring, I just pick it up. Hey, good morning. Hi, how are you? I'm Pedro. How may I help you? I mean, it was just awesome. And so what, you know, many people don't realize what takes them like a minute, you know, um, like, you know, voicemail. Normally, the um, average person takes about a minute to record their voicemail, you know, on their telephones. It takes me 30 minutes, 45 minutes. I mean. Right. I mean. Right. I mean. Get it. I totally get it. Right. They don't know how hard we have to work at doing the most um, easiest of tasks. Right. Right. It's amazing. The Once you make a a a habit of of one thing it becomes like uh like uh like uh permanent right exactly now how did you handle re Restaurants. Right now, we are, um, you know, in this pandemic. And so the, uh, you know, the uh, bulk of our restaurants are all closed down. You, you know, have to use the drive through. But, but be before all of this pandemic happened, how did you handle r r restaurants? Um, um, honestly, I only said like, I want um that or 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 I would point in a direction and said I want that. <laughs> oh, oh, I did that all the time, <laughs> Juan Pablo. You know, um thankfully, you know, now m menus have pictures of the food, so I just point. <laughs> right. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Exactly. I love technology. You know, I'll take that, that, that. Oh, and this. So <laughs> <laughs> now, 
Do you think that it is important for people who stutter to have a th thick skin? It's a it's a must have. I mean, I mean, everyone uh, has has to have one. But I mean, if you have a speech impediment, it's a, it's a necess it's a it's a it's a must have, you know. And um, we face issues that the overwhelming majority of the population don't. So it's very common that we have to work twice as hard to be able to to be like on 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 par with everyone else, you know. Yes, I agree. Um, you know, when I was growing up, um, I did not have a thick skin. And so when people would tell me that I was slow, that I was stupid because of my st stutter, I mean, I took, I mean, I took all that in. I mean, and for years and years and years, you know, people, uh, uh, people would tell me that that I would never have a job, that I would never get married, that I would never have a career, that 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 um, I would be alone for the rest of my life, um, and that it would be a good idea to have me apply for disability and just get a check every single month. Wow, I mean, yes, and, and uh, people are... Are I mean, I mean, uh, um, um. Sometimes they can be very rude and very mean, and so it's a it's a must have to have a a a a. A thick, uh, um, a a thick skin. I mean, if we don't, then we would like give up and and uh, and uh, don't do anything. Right. I mean, all that. Negative talk, you know, that can get you into a dark space, you know, very qu quickly. But, you know, um, thankfully, yeah, for sure. Yes. Um, later in life, when when I turned 40, you know, that's when I said, that's it. I'm done. I don't care if you laugh at me. I don't care if you make fun of me because I love Pedro. Pedro is awesome. And and. What I had learned is that hurt people hurt people. Those who bully you, those who make fun of you, you know, they have their own demons. But I know that I'm awesome. And that's it. Right, right. That's the mindset that, that everyone should have. Did you ever um, experience d depression um, because of your stutter? Yes, um, actually, I did after my after my uh, after my 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 brother passed away. Uh, my my. Sp 
my speech got worse and worse. I mean, I mean, I was like, um, um, fifteen years old, and I, and 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 I had a a couple of a couple of 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 uh, a couple of blocks here and there but after that it just got worse and worse and I just uh, did not wanted to talk to anyone and so I just isolated myself and that was the worst thing I could do because it just got my speech worse and it was not doing me any good and in my life you know I had no interaction because I isolated myself and so um, I did and I uh, uh, at the time I did not seek any treatment, but uh, after that, I I did, and it was awesome. I mean, I mean, I could uh, uh, talk, um, um, I could open up to anyone. And was um, and and uh, that helped me a lot. Uh, um, um, to be able to overcome it. Well, first of all, um, I would like to uh, um offer my uh, condolences. Um, my brother, um, my I'm oldest brother, um. Um, he was killed in a car accident, and so um, the the uh, the y y y year after, I mean, like what you were talking about, I shut down. I mean, I didn't. I mean, I didn't talk to anybody. You know, I was, you know, I was in my room. You know, I mean, I didn't want to do anything. You know, you know, and thankfully, you know, after a year, you know, I finally reached out and, um, you know got some help so i mean therapy is wonderful i love therapy yeah, i mean it it's the it best, is it is it is i think every person on the planet should have therapy because i mean it just helps you in in so many ways it's the best it's the best i love therapy now you are 22 years old correct yes Okay, what's the legal drinking age in in uh, Paraguay? I think it's twenty one. Okay, 21. but but no one like uh, like like there's a law that says that you must be uh, twenty one to be able to 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 have. Alcohol, but, uh, but, but in order to, in order to buy, you have to be eight, eight, teen years old. That's just, uh, uh, like, like weird, you know. 
that is. And so, <laughs> <laughs> and so everyone uh, um, at the age of 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 seventeen or eighteen uh, began there. The um, legal age here in Texas in the states is you have to be twenty one to purchase, you know, and twenty one to drink. Um, and so, um, and so the reason that I bring this up is that um, I don't know if you drink or not, but for me, yeah, when I yeah. had okay, okay, good, okay. <laughs> so when when I have two drinks and that's it, only two. Juan Pablo, if I drink only two, I mean, I, I mean, it's like, what happened to my stutter? I mean, it is gone. I'm having a good time. I'm talking, you know, with, you know, my colleagues or my buddies or, you know, or whatnot. Um, when you drink alcohol, do you notice that your stutter gets better or worse? Um... I have no like um like when I I I I have alcohol um my my um my level of of uh of uh how do i say this my level of 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 shame it goes uh, down so i have no problem whatsoever with uh with with uh with with how i with how i with uh how i look when i'm having a uh, certain blocks and so i And so I can speak better if I have uh, alcohol. <laughs> See, and I mean, um, we're all different in our speech journeys. And so, you know, many people that that I talk to regarding this, you know, topic, you know, um, it's just split right down the middle for half their speech gets better, you know, and for the other half, it just gets worse. So, you know, it's just interesting. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I mean, it's, 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 uh, something that we all ask ourselves and, 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 uh, and, uh, other people ask, ask that, to us as well. I mean, I mean, I mean, I have uh, uh, always been asked, like, like, uh, like, why don't you get like, I don't know, blackout, drunk, and and you will not uh, have any issues and. I'm like no, no way! I'm doing that just because of my speech. You know? <laughs> wow, um, I think we are we are twins. I will be the older twin, Juan Pablo, because you know people have also told me that I should drink all day every day. That way, you know, I'll have great speech. I said no. <laughs> that is not a viable solution at this time, no. sir and ma'am. So, <laughs> okay. So, so, do you ever do this? Let's say you, uh, you are having a block, and then to help you, you are either 
tapping your leg or, you know, t tapping your foot or tapping your face or doing anything to help you with that block. Do you ever have those, those you know, rhythmic, um, what they call, you know, s um, s um, s um, s ooh, that word. Okay. <sighs> Do you use those s s s secondary techniques? All the time. I mean, I mean, I mean, um, right now, I am not. And, uh, and, and, um, and, um, I, um, I mean, I, I have, um, uh, not use those, uh, those, uh, secondary tools. Uh, for a for a a couple of a a couple of hunts now but uh before that I used to do that all the time and not because I I I I wanted to it's because it's a habit you know yes because for me back in the day when I would have a block and um, you know during those blocks my eyes are closed I stop breathing. I'm tapping my foot. My arms are going all over in in the air, waving like I just don't care. And so <laughs> people have asked me, you know, was I having a um, a medical issue? Was I having a seizure? And so it's like, no, I mean, no, no, no. Uh, I'm just having a block. Although, you know, there was one time because, you know, for me, when I had a huge block, you know, my eyes would close and then I stopped breathing. And so, so when you are doing that, you know, um, after a while, you will get dizzy and uh, you, you may lose consciousness <laughs> I... <laughs> like how I did and passed out on the floor. <laughs> I said, no, that will never happen again. But I. But, but, uh, 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 you know, um, I was the king of just tapping my hand and my foot and everything to just get the word out. Same here. So, okay. So here is a very important question because every person around the world would love to hear your answer. So Juan Pablo, what? is the most effective technique that you do for your fluency right so i would just uh do belly breathing i before an an interview i would do a ton of of belly breathing and and reading out loud and um and that would just make me feel relaxed and more confident you know and um and but um uh and uh, i also noticed that 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 I can speak a lot better when I am is is standing up, you know, um, and 
and the belly breathing it just makes me feel relaxed and just uh, lets my I mean it let my words come out uh, a lot better than otherwise see and um th- you know that's what what I do also you know um every day I read out loud for 10 minutes I do my belly breathing also for uh, 10 minutes and then I have also um, added mindful meditation for like 15 minutes and so I do that every day and that has proven just I mean I mean, you know I can notice a uh, a uh, d- a difference uh, 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 um have you ever tried meditation also i have not i am i am very uh, um very much in 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 i uh, intrigued by it but i have not i don't know where to to begin you know well one of my buddies um she um does yoga and she does um meditation and so i was talking to her you know about you know i'm adding it to help with with my speech and so um so what I did was YouTube has everything. And so I just Googled, you know, mindful meditation for beginners, you know. And so I just would, you know, play that um, in my bathroom in the quiet, l- listen to the bells and the ocean, you know, that way um, I could learn how to be in the moment. Because what, what, um, what has helped me a great deal um, is when I am talking to a person. This is r- really awesome. When I am talking to a person, I am present in the conversation. I'm focused on the person. Um, and so I had noticed when I focus on the person and not my stutter, I mean, n- Nine times out of ten, I don't even hear my stutter. My stutter doesn't even pop in because I'm focused on the person. I'm focused on the conversation, and I'm not focused on my stutter. Um, and so I was noticing that, um, and it was really, I mean, it was just really in in intriguing right right so previously you were uh, touching on this do you go through fluency phases like you know one week your speech is good and then for the next two weeks it's horrible and then for the next month it's good and then for the next two months it's horrible do you go through these fluency phases yes yes i mean Last week, uh, I mean, I had, I had no issues at, at, at work. Um, I mean, I mean, I could just talk and talk and talk, but uh, after a a a a couple of days um i mean i would again over think of of my speech and so that over thinking 
ends my ends my ends my my I my days where I have a um a a good speech you know yeah this is just really i'm um, interesting because it has no rhyme or reason one week you know i'm doing excellent and then the next two weeks you know it just goes all downhill so i mean um it's just extremely interesting yeah for sure now here is a hot topic okay so i ask everybody globally this and then all um all of the answers are split right down the middle 50 50. so let me ask you juan pablo do you let others finish your sentences i don't let my 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 relatives do that because i don't want to be the uh, the dependent on them you know but obviously with my with my with my I, with my with my Ah, with my with I with my uh, pals, I mean, I honestly don't mind. If they, if they cook, if they complete my, uh, my sentences, but, uh, to my dad and my mom and my sister, I tell them, to to please don't uh, finish my sentences i i i have to keep working on my on my on my speech and be prepared to 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 face all kinds of 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 situations you know see like you you know my my you know family can do it because you know they know me but right. you know there <laughs> hopefully uh but you know there are a lot of people who do it and they get it wrong and then you have to start all over again you know to try, <laughs> to try right. and get it out again and so previously when when i was growing up i did not like for people to finish my sentences 
because it made me feel less than it it made me f- feel like i was broken um and 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 that's when i had like severe um 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 anger issues and rage issues but you know now that i'm older you know um past 40 my thoughts now you know are help you help me help you help me because if i have a block you know i don't want to pass out again so you know that's not a good look for pedro so if you know <laughs> if you know what i'm trying to say help you help me help you and make sure you get it right you know that's all i ask why right, uh, i mean i mean i mean i mean oftentimes they just want to help you and and uh and uh obviously i don't get mad at them you know oh yeah um back in my day ooh ooh juan pablo let me tell you i would i i would lose it you know i you know i would go off on them because back then um i was younger and didn't know how to handle my um, anger and so but but now it's all good now but if you do it you better do it right and get it right 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 for sure now here is here is a head scratcher okay because i ask i ask people who stutter from around the globe and it's just it's split right down the middle 50-50 so let me ask you when you are alone can you speak without stuttering i i can one hundred percent speak without without any blocks is uh, is is especially if 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 i am speaking in my native language you know I I have a lot of 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 issues uh, speaking English when I'm uh, alone because I It's like uh, uh, weird to me, you know. Um, it's honestly, it's not the same. When I'm, I'm, I'm speaking English. Or my neighbor language, you know. So, so, um, so, to answer your, your question, I do not, but, uh, whenever I, 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 I speak in English. I do. <laughs> see, and I don't that, know why. <laughs> see, and that is that is just so so um interesting because I am th- the opposite. When I'm alone, you know, um, and and you know, talking. To myself, you know, um, as we all do, you know, no judging. Uh, so, as as I am talking 
to myself, you know, going over what I have to do throughout the day. I still stutter. But 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 let me um, ask you this. Uh, your native language is uh, Portuguese, correct? No, no, it's it's a uh, it's a Spanish. Oh, Spanish. Okay, okay. I'm sorry, sorry. See, because um, I speak Spanish. I speak Turkish. You know, when I was in the in the uh, you know mil- military, um, I was st- stationed in Turkey, and so so um, we had to learn the the language and so so what what i had noticed um is that that um i still stutter in my native language of english and then i also stutter in turkish uh and spanish so uh it's just interesting yes i mean i mean it is it and and uh, it also has to do with that. It, whenever I I I talk in English, I I almost always talk with another. person and so even though I am talking to myself my mind just makes a like uh, this this correlations that is English is is with another person and and is and is and is Spanish is with is with yourself you know right I, I mean you know you know that's why this is just I mean, this is just so interesting. You know, my parents speak um, Spanish, but I mean, they they talk like a hundred miles an hour. So it's like, okay, hold on, <laughs> slow down, please. <laughs> okay, so, so do you find that when you are tired or stressed, do you stutter? More or less? Way more. Like, way more. <laughs> Before this interview, I got really nervous. No, Juan, I... no, Juan Pablo. It's <laughs> Pedro. <laughs> it's Pedro. We're lot. buddies. <laughs> <laughs> so I had to breathe a lot. But whenever I... Um, I'm relaxed... Um, uh, it just, uh, it just, it just correlates uh, with everything, you know. Yes, I do know. <laughs> I completely, completely understand. Now, has this ever happened to to you? Let's say you are. T- or talking to a new person, um, and they greet you, and they ask you, you know, what is your name? And then you have a block, like a really long block. And then they will ask you, did you forget your name? Has that ever happened to you, Juan Pablo? Is this a... Is this a... 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 How do you say this? Is this a a is this a trick question? Because it happens 
it happened all my life. <laughs> all my life. Oh my gosh. I, I hated each <laughs> time that happened. I mean, I mean, uh, I mean, since we're in the lockdown, it hasn't happened to me in a while now. But I have a ton of 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 like uh, of like memories that were not very not very pleasant at the moment because uh, my. Uh, Names uh, have a P and a J, you know, and I hate those words, and so uh, and so almost uh, always I just say. That my name is 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 Juan Gar Gar Sia, you know, and I and I always keep the the P out of it. Well, my name has. Two P's in it, Juan. <laughs> so I can't tell you how many times this has happened to me. Uh, that's when I tell the person, that's when I educate that person. You know, I tell them that I have a speech impediment. It may take me a little bit longer to get the words out. But what I need f f from you is patience, please. That way, for the next time that 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 person um encounters another person who has a speech impediment they will be better prepared to handle that next person right right uh, i mean i mean often i i i i tell that to the people that have to have to have to is 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 spend a lot of time with me and and they always understand where I'm coming from you know always right i mean because my motto is the more you know the better that you know it will be because you know when you know better you do better and so you know for exactly. right for me it's all about education because you know that's how we grow right right and uh and uh and uh honestly a uh, 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 people just uh, don't know how, how to react because uh, 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 they have not uh, seen uh, someone that that has this this speech in 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 pediment you know and uh, and they just don't no how did we act 
to the unknown. Right. You know, they don't know how to react. You know, they don't know what to do. That's that's why, you know, it falls on us to, you know, um, educate. Tell them, this is what I have. This is what you, you will see in here. And so, you know, all that we want is, you know, patience, you know, and respect also. So, <laughs> Of course. I mean, um, 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 I just met uh, one guy who has a, 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 a speech impediment like me in all my life before knowing you and your and your and your and your channel Pedro see um when I was growing up going through um all through school you know with you know having a stutter i thought i was the only one i thought i i, I was the only one in the, in the entire world that had this until i met another person who stuttered who was in their 20s you know um i was in my 20s and then he was in his in in his 20s but but you know before that i thought i was the only one in, in the entire world who had this and so i mean that's when you feel same here right you feel that you know you are alone in the entire world no one understands what you are going through the pain the anguish the frustration the agitation the irritation i mean everything you know until i met that one person you know i'm in my 20s and so this is how you know, okay? When I met him, we were shaking hands, and he was having a block. And then I was having a block. But in his eyes, I knew. In his eyes, I knew that he was like me because I could feel and see the pain in his eyes. Right, right. And this was a powerful m m moment because of instead of of just blurting out my name, this is how I responded. I understand. And oh my God, I mean, that was an emotional, powerful time um, uh, during my life. I can imagine. I mean, uh, um, I have... Never had a, a, an experience that I met um, um, face to face with someone that has a a a a stutter, you know. I've never met someone like, uh, like uh, face to face. What um, do uh, do um, you recall? What the number is um, world wide that um, people who stutter. Was it one percent of the world population, like three million people? Um, um, I have read that it's like one point something, or or even more than that. It, but that also takes into account uh, people that have issues with 
R's or S's and into something like that. And so it's not the same, you know. I mean, that number is low, like very low worldwide. And I... Uh, and uh, and uh, where I live, we have uh, not many people here. So uh, the odds of me meeting someone with my same issue uh, um, are are uh, are uh, very uh, little and uh, and uh, and uh, right now uh, um, we have internet I can meet a ton of a ton of 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 people that 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 uh that have it uh, in my neighbor uh, uh neighbor countries yes um you know nowadays um i have a lot of buddies from all over the world and you're one of them who are uh hashtag awesome because um what i mean you know people who stutter we are creative we are resourceful we i mean we are resilient i mean we're hard workers we're very intelligent. I mean, I mean, we have it going on, Juan Pablo. I mean, we have it going on. Now, d did you ever think, you know, uh, career-wise, that your stutter might hinder that? Actually, I, I, uh, I mean, I mean, one. Of the reasons that I that I got into this career path is because of of the way that I like uh, uh, I like isolated myself uh, in my early days and I would just be on the internet and just uh, learn uh, learn new things every single day and so um, obviously one of those reasons that I isolated myself is because of my of my speech issue, you know, and that uh, influenced a lot on my career path. I mean, I mean, uh, I mean, I mean, Obviously, it's a, a, it's a, it's a personality issue, but, uh, uh, our personality is also, it's also, it's also, uh, uh, it's also um, it's also shaped because of our context, you know, 
and I honestly I I I used to be way more extrovert as a kid and right now I am I complete introvert you know <laughs> yes I completely understand <laughs> uh, yeah the many of the jobs that I went for you know in my younger days was data entry you know that way um, there was no human interaction they would just give me you know a pile of work to just um to just put in t- into the computer so that's what I would uh, d- you know that's how I started off right right and same here I mean I mean I mean I mean I I I had to find a niche where I could just uh, uh, talk the less amount uh, uh, possible, you know, and I, I mean, I have uh, daily meetings every day, but they're uh, with people uh, that I work with. So it's not uh, uh, it's not like it's not like I uh, like it's a re. It's a re a requirement for the job, you know. It's not a a requirement, right? Um, you know, later on, uh, 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 um, um, in in you know my career, um, I was um, what what helped me out was was you know f- f- forcing myself out of my comfort zone. Because I was always in my comfort zone where I was happy and, and you know, um, comfortable. But when when I learned to push myself out of my comfort zone, that's when I realized that I could do a whole bunch of things that I thought, you know, I could never do. I agree. Uh, I mean, I mean, every day. In my daily meetings, I, 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 I always go uh, go first. I mean, I, 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 I always go. First, because um, in 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 high school, I I always ask to be last because the last presentation was always the the one that had the least uh, amount of attention, you know? Yes, I do know, Juan, because I, I mean, you know, d- during our meetings, um, they would have my, my, you know, department go at, at, uh, towards the halfway mark. But, you know, what I wanted was to go last because that's when um, everybody is, you know, ready to leave, you know, they're done with the meeting. They've already checked out of the meeting. You know, right, they, right. <laughs> <laughs> looking at their watch. That's when I would l- l- love to have gone last. That way I could just breeze through it and then we leave. So. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> All right. So here. I get it. Yes, yes. So here is another hot topic. Okay. So dating, you know, it's hard for everybody, but 
If you have a speech impediment, it is like a million times more difficult. How did you handle dating with having a stutter? Honestly, um, uh, I had um, uh, uh, seen dating as uh, as a as as a kind of like a a competition, you know. And so I honestly I I I did not have a lot of a lot of issues with dating um um in my life. I I uh, uh I must have had like a like a like five dates yet and and uh and uh all of them I had no issues because I I I I ask a ton of 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 a ton of a a ton of questions and they would do all the talking you know <laughs> see and that is very smart my friend that <laughs> <laughs> that is the way to go <laughs> all right so so what do you uh, think about all this new technology. You have Google Home, you have Alexa, and then you have the one with Apple that starts with an S that I, I always have a hard time with. So do you think that all this new t technology, um, do you think it's helpful or hurtful for p people who stutter? It, no, um, it is very helpful it is very helpful because it's it's uh um um we can uh, um we can uh practice with the with this devices you know and um and uh and uh obviously it's it's not the same as as a person but it's 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 a uh, it's a uh, it's a uh, it's, uh, it's very it's very it's very it's it's a uh, very Uh, it's very close it's it's a uh, it's a uh, it's almost like talking to 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 another person so so we can uh Take this upper, this upper, this upper, this upper, t 
opportunity and 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 uh, practice with these devices see and you are a hundred percent correct because um all of the people that I talk to from around the world, they tell me that this helps them to practice because they are not talking to a human being. They are talking to a machine. Therefore, this allows them to practice their name or practice their greeting or practice how to get to a specific address. And so um, my thoughts on this is that, you know, I love how um, how it's it's helpful because there are days where, you know, I don't want to talk to anybody. And so I'll just hop on my phone. I will hop on an app. I will order a pizza and prepay and give a tip. And so when they come to my door, I don't have to say anything but smile. And then I take the pizza and then I go and eat it. So I love technology because right, right. it is it it's helpful, you know, with all facets of our life. So, you know, I'm very thankful of this new technology. However, um Yeah, I mean and and uh and and uh and uh these devices are uh i mean they are the 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 closest uh, uh, um, thing to a person, you know. Right. Um, there are some times when I'm using this voice technology where, you know, um, I will have a couple of repetitions and then they will tell me, um, you know, to either, you know, um, you know, um, I didn't get that or they'll repeat it. And it's like, no, 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 don't do that. Um, so, you know, I've had some issues with voice, you know, technology, but, but, you know, um, overall, um, I believe that it's very helpful. Now, what, what is a, challenge speech wise that you had to overcome and how did you do it right um i mean i mean um um right after i i began working i um I had every day daily meetings, right? And I would and and I would like block every time, all the time, and uh, right now, um, and uh, I can have those daily meetings without uh having a block you know and uh, and and i just think it's because i i always i always practiced um before each meeting it's, and it's because of that that I overcame it. How cool. I mean, practice makes permanent. Yeah. Not perfect. For sure. Practice makes permanent. Exactly. Yes, sir. So 
What has st- what has st- stuttering taught you? Um, um, it has taught me to be uh, patient with the other person. To be um, to not uh, judge because everyone uh, that has this this is this speech in in impediment uh, looks it looks different you know and and it has also taught me to To be a a uh, a a a a a very hard worker in order to to get what I want because I had to work extremely hard. To get my job, you know. Right. And that is just so um, p- 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 powerful because many people that I talk to around the world, they say that their blessing, that their stutter is is a curse. But for me, my stutter is a blessing because, you know, look. L- like you, you know, it has t- taught me courage because I wouldn't b- be able to handle the things now. Um, like when in my younger years, oh my gosh, I mean, it was, I mean, it, I mean, you know, I, 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 um, I didn't have courage or compassion or um, empathy or whatnot. But, you know, later in life, that's what my st- stutter has t- taught me. So, yeah, it's very powerful. Right, right. I mean, I agree. So what advice would you give to another person who stutters? Um, 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 I would say to not feel bad um uh, uh, be be because of it i mean i mean everyone uh has to go through a ton of 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 uh of 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 circums is 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 passes that we don't know everyone has their issues and so i would say like like be very patient with yourself and with others uh uh other people uh um um don't really know what you go through you know and and also i would say that don't be 
too hard on yourself. I know I was. That is great advice for for everybody. That is fantastic. And so if you had the opportunity, Juan Pablo, to be on the world stage, to just give the world some insight on what stuttering is, what message would you convey to the world? I would convey to to have a lot of a lot of 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 patience with everyone we 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 honestly don't really know uh, about uh, every is is speech in in impediment and and we just ex pact people to behave or or talk in a way that that a that a lot of a lot of a, a lot of people uh, um can't can't uh, do that, you know, and and that and that we should not measure everyone with the same bar. That is a great message. That that is awesome. And so, Juan Pablo, um, I would like to thank you for being a guest on my stuttering life. Um, I believe there's healing in sh sharing. And so I want to thank you for sh sharing your st story with, with me. You are a true inspiration. You are hashtag awesome, hashtag courageous. You are just, I mean, you, you, you are just awesome. Juan Pablo, I just have to tell you. And so I am just pr privileged and honored to have you on this podcast. Thank you, Pedro. I'm honored. Thank you, sir. Now, now um, I have l listeners from all over the world, and they're amazing. Now, let's say they w wanted to reach out to you. How would they do that? Yes, my... Um, I have a, 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 a YouTube that is, um, uh, it's just JPG and my Instagram is, is, it's, it's Juanpi Gar. Sia, nine, ten. All right, we will post those links in in the notes. Um, and so I would like to thank you one more time. And so I hope that that you know, done the road, we can do this again. I mean, because I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed this conversation. Me too, Pedro. Same here. S thank you a lot for having me on your show. Thank you, sir. Um, you, you take care, be well, and stay safe. Thank you, Pedro. If you like this podcast, head on over to Apple Podcasts. Subscribe, rate, and review. Thank you for listening, and we will talk again.